got him. Focus, focus, there you are. Good morning and welcome on back to the channel, everybody. We are gonna be doing some dangling with my favorite fishing partner in the world. It's LFD. In today's video sponsored by Carl's. Today's video, y'all, is sponsored by Carl's. It is time to get geared up for spring bass fishing. In today's video, you're gonna see us using a lot of jerk baits, but there's a lot of other springtime lures that you can get geared up with with Carl's. Your, your lipless crank baits, your square bills, your spinner baits, your vibrating jigs, your jigs, all your terminal plastics, heck, line, rods, reels, Carl's has it all. The way to save big at Carl's is to become a member. This is the key, guys. If you love Guggen Baits, if you become a Carl's member, you're not gonna find a lower price. So you can become a member today and use code Guggen10. You can get $10 off your first order and get early access to all the new drops. So I left you guys a link down in the description. Don't forget to use that code Guggen10 when you become a member, get that $10 off your first order and get you some jerk baits, get you some other springtime favorites, whatever you're into and just get loaded up for this fishing season. Now, let's get out on the water with the Bass Bustin' Boomer himself, LFD. So I've been doing a lot of fishing this season but I have yet to go with my dad and I mean, there's no, there's no better thing to do, father something to do than to go into the great outdoors and, and just hang out together. So we're gonna go out on the lake uh, in the new boat. Dad has yet to see it. And we're just gonna try to catch something, I don't know, but he's, a, he's on fire, LFD is on fire. He went out in his kayak yesterday, caught a seven, 12 and one just over eight. So basically two eight pounders on a lake that I suck at all the time. So we're not even going to that lake today. He went up to a lake called Ray Roberts and did that out of his kayak, y'all. He's done that in the last couple years. He's gone up there and caught a eight or a nine. And there's something else I need to harvest while we are here today. I'm actually standing, I'm standing in LFD's yard right now, which is a big turkey zone. He sees a lot of turkeys in here. He's got like four toms that come in every day. It's crazy. A lot of nutrients and whatnot. And there's this giant, well, not a giant, but it's a big bowdark tree. So if you guys watch one of my latest videos, you saw where I've been getting into bow making and stuff. And this, this is the holy grail tree right here. This is what you want for making bows. And uh, I recently just noticed it like a few months ago. And I was like, you guys got a bowdark tree in your yard. Can I take one of those straight limbs? So we're going to pick out a limb for later. But right now, it's time to go fishing with LFD. Yeah, man. Take the cover off. Yeah, that's cool. Got a, got a brand new glitter sled here for you. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. You've never caught a fish on an umbrella rig? Never ever. Uh, you don't really want to, anyways. I mean, yeah, I, good for you. Just, just dragging that thing around. Just, just tough go. I say stick with the boomer baits. Keep doing what you're doing. It's working, right? Yeah. Caught two big fish yesterday. Yeah, uh, a seven, twelve, and an eight. Oh boy. S same day. So yeah, for me awesome. that's for me that's a big day. On uh, on this right here, the old red colored rattling bait. Yep. Catches big ones this time of year. Just does. Just That's facts. There. And you've never seen the 360, right, Dad? No, never have. Right. I saw it on your video, and I'm just dying to see it in action. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So we're gonna um, we're gonna put it put it to use today. But uh, I gotta attach that when we get to the lake. So.
this is the rub with this guy. I gotta detach it every time I go out. I've well, got a little impact wrench that we can get this puppy going with. getting dad dialed into the electronics and looked up had a fish on the line Let's see if we can get him unhooked extremely cold extremely cold fish oh, I almost thought I had like a crappie or something so it wasn't fighting Little guy, go. Here's your average, average little bank runner out there. We'll see their bud. Dirt bait, just going slow. Literally so slow. I was like just explaining to my dad, this is kind of some fish moving in here. So I was sitting there explaining to him. And uh, while I was just paused talking, fish hit it. And the water's gotten colder. It's 49, it's not fun. And uh, there's a few fish right in here. I see some suspended, which kind of made me tie on a jerk bait. And they're just staging, you know? They're really just staging. Yeah, this is looking out the back. So you can change that, you can go left, Oh, okay. It's going to be off this yeah. side. Yeah, so if you're working a bank or something. Yeah, so like right now, look at that isolated fish on the shad right there. See that? Yeah. Mm hmm. Is it two of them? Yeah, there's, see them right in that bait pile. Yeah, yeah jerk bait goes well with that electronics because, you know, you can move it. So all the guys have been catching them on fork the last two years in those Bassmaster events. You know the day we were out there? Yeah, yeah. And, and we were crappie fishing, that, that guy caught that big one on a glide bait, but that, that's how they do it. They look at a tree, and right now, you know, the fish are suspended. So they just take a jerk bait and flick it out there and watch it, eat, watch them eat on live scope. Yeah. That's it. I guess it's the saying that uh, Hey, that's why they call it fishing. That, I guess that's going to change. That, um, you, you weren't catching them, <laughs> you know, because I mean, if you see them. Well, there's a lot of them you see that you can't catch. Yeah. I promise you. Yeah, that's got to be frustrating. There's one. He was way out. Yeah, he's a good one. Got it. Got it down pretty good. Look how cold that fish is. I just can hardly jump. Red lips. Uh, get the pliers on that guy. That fish was way out. I don't know. That fish is probably four and a half really nice really nice bass right there y'all short and stocky let this one go back to the deeps cold 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 very slow swim off Got my jerk bait rod out and uh, 
I was going through my jerk baits. I could I couldn't I'm out completely out of my uh, my Guggen Squad white ones. You said you were catching them out here the other day on the yeah. on our pearl color or bone color, which is what I need. So anyway, I dug in. I got some other random bait from that I got probably 10 years ago. That's white. I need to get some new white jerk baits, but this water's so stained that a white color is is in the wintertime white is usually good but like a typical color with a little flash and a little translucent like a, those are normally the jerk baits i throw in clear clear water lightly stained and i just wouldn't get a bit on them out here so the, the white i think is going to be key and just going really slow and you've been throwing a spinner bait right slow rolling yep slow roll. and uh, just hadn't been able to get a bit i've been I've been throwing a, a vibrating jig and a lipless crankbait and a, and a square bill as well. I haven't been able to get a bit on that. So that's the only thing so far is that white jerk bait. But dad's about to break out that, that red clutch. You know, red was good yesterday. Yeah. You know? What was your water temp you were looking at yesterday? I was uh, 51 right in there when I 51. caught those fish. Yeah. Yep. So we're looking at 49, 50 here. I don't know. Theoretically, they should eat it. That's just a, mo a a floating storage unit at this point. Just looks like my garage fell into that boat. Dad, you called that the shad tracker? <laughs> shad tracker. You know, you had a shad tracker your first boat. I mean, my shad tracker was a, it was it was the bandito. Bandito is what we called it. That's right. Yeah. But it was 17 feet long. I think it was a, a little longer than that one. I had a 75. Now you, the original shad tracker you had back in the day, right? Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, it was 15 foot long. It had uh, had a 40 horsepower on it, and uh, but it was a it was a beautiful boat. I mean, it was golden. It was uh, it was like a mini bass boat. Golden. It was it was sparkly. Yeah. It wasn't aluminum. No. Is was, this the Terry? Yeah, the Terry. The Terry. The Terry was, it was a, like a miniature bass boat. And uh, it was all I could afford. But, uh, hey, we caught a lot of fish That's out. what we got started in. Yeah. If, if you have heard of a Terry bass boat, let me know in the comments. Because you, you're you old school. You know some old school bass knowledge. You probably still call crankbaits plugs if you know what a Terry bass boat is. But holler, holler at your boy. That's what me and my dad got started fishing in. And uh, it, is that the same boat that we took out in the Gulf of Mexico? Yeah. Good lord, that's scary. Yeah. That's scary. I, I remember Dad took us out when I was a kid. I still have a picture. We like doubled up on little jacks or something out of this Terry bass in the Gulf. We're talking giant hammerhead sharks around Orange Beach, Alabama. We felt like a a small fish in a big pond, which we were. Hey, when when uh, when that 14 or 15 foot shark came out of the boat, I remember that. I realized, oh my gosh, we might <laughs> need a bigger boat. Yeah, yeah, we were small. It probably liked the sparkles. It wasn't used to seeing those golden sparkles. It was like a root beer color, if I remember. Yeah, yeah. It was a root beer colored tear. Dag up. I used to play in that boat when I was a kid. That's right. And one day I left your crappie fishing light I had a spotlight uh, a yeah. spotlight I, I left it on the carpet which was that old like plasticky carpet yeah. and I burnt a big ring on the front or I don't know was it was on the front or the back of the boat yeah it was, on the, it was on the back it was on the back and then I, I was no longer allowed to play in the boat unsupervised that was, was my bad my bad pops slack in the line that was cool is this a crappie no a little bass you left it wide open for me yeah you never leave God. an opening for a guy like you that was that was so slow and i thought when he knocked slack in it i was like or I, I didn't really feel the bite i just saw my line like coming towards me yeah 
I was like, that might be a better one there. Super slow retrieve. Just a little peanut. A little peanut. Got my wool glove. He knew he was gonna be there though. A little next little point. A little tip. Yeah. You work that with your tip down. Keep it from rising. Thank you. I'm open to suggestions from LFG. Oh, damn. Just broke the bill off this thing. I was wondering why I wasn't jerking. There we go. Found a sexy shed. That'll work. Wool gloves and jerk baits do not get along, I'll tell you that. Dad, what do you think about Hummingbird 360 and the live scope? It's, it's cheating. You know, I was just saying that, you know, what would really, really bother me is if I was fishing against somebody who had this technology in their boat and I didn't have it. Well, you know, I mean, you mean in a tournament? Yeah, in a tournament, a derby. Oh yeah, well that, that happens every day. But I mean, we've, we've only caught three fish, so it's not like... Well, the fish are biting, you know. But that's it. I mean, you get to see if they're not biting, and how they react, and what they're doing, where they're moving. It helps you learn more, but it doesn't make them bite. No, you got that's that's on you. That is it is on you. It's it's kind of a genie you can't put back in the bottle. I mean, you know the the old way of finding fish was find the cover, you know, predict the water temperatures, the, where the bait's going to be. And, and all that now you just pull in the cove and look for them yeah I mean, <laughs> there they are yeah there they are they're either there they're not there so i i don't know i don't i don't rely on it as much as uh some other guys but i definitely use it in certain situations and it, it is hard to beat so I, th I think we're gonna make a move maybe go fish the dam and uh maybe do one more spot and then we probably got to head back to the house but keep Let's working it's warming up so maybe we'll get another bite or two just have one no what happened oh uh, 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 oh got him oh big one you got a small mouth small mouth <laughs> There you go. That's what we came down here for. Dogging you. There you go. That's a good smallmouth, Dad. I know. You got him? You need some help? I don't think I'd get him. Pretty fish, man. Them fingers. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is he gonna get it? Is he gonna get it? Pressure's on. <laughs> there you go. Look at that dark belly fish. Yes. That's cool, man. Those red eyes. That's awesome. Hey, she hit it right under the boat. No. Came out and slammed it. Oh, don't shake. I could lose a finger. What a fish, man! What a fish. That made the day right there. That is cool. Ah, let her go. Let's get back. Go back and produce some babies. See ya. Hey. That's awesome. I love it. Hey, that was uh, that was a cool bite.
Got him. Get him, Dad. Get that fish. Oh, God, it's a big one, baby. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to get us get us away from the rocks here. Oh, God, it's a big one here. You need some help? Just get us away from rocks. Yeah. Oh, barely hooked. Oh, barely hooked. Come here. Ah, hook just came out. Look at that. Look at that, baby. There you go. Grab that camera. Woo. There you go, buddy. <laughs> nice one. Look at those red lips. Red, red lips. All right, let's let her go. Let's go, girl. Woo! I like that kahunga. Good job. Nice, man. Good yeah, call. That was. That was good. We were, we were trying to get one more. Dad, Dad got the got the jump on me on that cast. I'm not gonna lie. The money I, spot. I was spinning the boat around. It was like coming around that point, and he I saw that old white dirt bait flying over there, and I was like, damn, he 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 got in the juice. I think I had three fish. Dad had two fish. We're out of out of time, but we had some had some good ones. So, and Dad got a smallmouth. That's awesome. think about today's dangle hey the dangle was good it was short it was cold and the bite was slow but they were good bites 50 degree water not the not the tastiest I really like fishing when that water gets up to like 55 it seems like big ones are coming in they're just all over the banks and they're eating really good but we've just had these weird you know it's it's not weird it's typical it's March but we get these cold fronts, the fish are like, they move up into the pockets and then they just, they shut down when it gets cold and they, and they move back up when it gets warm and then they shut down when it gets cold. And it's really not until we get our first night that's in the 60s or at least high 50s where the bass really just start flooding to the bank and then you start catching them, just throwing right up there on, on the shoreline. So there is some, uh, there's some definite, uh, you know, patience that has to be had, but man, those uh, white pale colored jerk baits today just going slow. That was definitely uh, the program, and, and it wasn't, you know, like a fast twitch. You had to throw it out there, wait a couple of seconds, and if you've never fished a jerk bait before, they're going to hit it on the pause, 99% of the time. So you'll just see your, your line twitch or pull or, or a lot of times you just you go to make your next jerk and you got the fish on dad's greasing up the saw getting ready got an electric pulse off fancy over here it's one of them old man items well get, there's get a little too tired Teeth on the chain need a little sharpening. Plus, this tree is just extremely hard, so I'm gonna have to come back for it. But uh, I gotta head back. I don't wanna be late for my babysitting duties. My dad's got this thing, he, he gives me a dollar every time she's, you know, been a good girl. He eats all her food and you know, goes to the potty and all that stuff. So, I'm gonna go make sure she gets her dollar from Big C right now. That's how she knows what we know him as LFD. I don't know, what's her status? I hear babies crying. Oh, hey, bud. Hey, bud. I'm just so happy. Yeah, Look, my toe gets jammed in the pool and it starts bleeding. Oh, he's, yeah, he's, he's jumping on those little tiny toes. What? I got a chocolate cupcake. Oh, my goodness. Chocolate cupcakes? Those are so good. And you know what? You forgot to get your dollar last night for Big C. So, Daddy's going to give you... A dollar from Big C. Thank you. Uh-huh, you're rich. 
You want to put it in your yeah. your Let's jar? Play with it while we're eating. Yeah. I'll put it safely in your money jar. Yeah. Look at your money jar. You've got a lot going on here. This girl's rich. Pretty good. Working up to that uh, that college fund, huh? Mm -hmm. What would you buy if you could buy anything with your money? Um. I have a fish toy. You already have a fish toy, yeah. I like a brand new stroller. A brand new stroller? Go really? see the double stroller. You like the double stroller? Yeah. Well, that one is yours. Yeah. You get to ride in it. Huh? You get the best of both worlds. Me and Baby Ben. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's a good sister move if you buy a double stroller so you and Ben can hang out. Mm, that is, that's very nice. Although, Daddy they bought me a double stroller for Christmas. Water. I did. When they all marry my brother. You want to marry your brother? Yeah. That's probably not good. I mean, one day. One day, yeah. You'll probably think differently about 10 years from now. So, but then but, I have a really merry baby Ben. Yeah, I'm glad we got this on video so we can <laughs> use this against you at your uh, at your wedding one day. Hey, yeah, at the reception. Day. This is this is gonna be a funny video. So uh, it's time for me to take over, guys. Thank you for tuning in to uh, Father Son Fishing Experience. God bless you and Godspeed in the great outdoors. I'll see you on the next one.